all right today i would like to show you a very small hint from the kin and um, many times when you key an object on on bright background you will see that there is uh, white edges around the around the head so around the character so this tip just helps you to get rid of these edges and keep the same color as the original edge was so let's do the very simple let's create very simple key setup so just create a key light and I just going to copy the alpha to the stream so yeah I would pick any color around the head mm. just to get rid of the noise and keep the details and um, uh, after the pre-melt if I comp it over the dark background you will see that there is a um, white areas around the people heads all over the image because the background was too too bright right so what we could do and it will fix this color of this white line white line issues is to um oh, sorry, I forget to use a disk yeah, so even with uh, this disk dispel it will still have these white areas so <coughs> the way we could fix those white edges is that you apply a blue to blend low oh. oh. and uh, apply it right after the pre melt and after the blue you just um, apply on pre melt on pre melt and um, once you increase the blue amount you will see that uh, on pre melt will just extend the edges um, with the colors that they had and in this case they have the these white lines right because we wanted to keep the details but uh, in this case you just um, you just need to shrink off a little bit so you you just blur it and Reduce the gamma again. Yes, so right now there is a very small. I could just apply a road. Yeah, and it will, it will, it will kill all your details, but you will have this, this natural colors at the edge, right, and. Uh, once you apply the upper mount, this, these edges will, will just get extend. So, mm. uh, yeah. So, see, it's small like this. What I was doing? Uh, I was changing the road. Oh, sorry, that's my mistake. You have to. You have to change the blue amount. Okay, it's a row. Yeah. Once you once you change the blue, you'll just keep keep increasing the edge edge color and um, road will help you to select what actual color you would want to extend. Yeah, once you once you're satisfied with the color, you could just copy the setup of your key and apply to this color. So you have an alpha, right? And you just copy copy this alpha 
to this car and promote it again. What you will have with that is um, this very um, sharp, but uh, in some cases it could be very soft, depends on what you need. It could be very soft, soft alpha, but um, you will keep the, the details and without these white edges, right? So. Yeah, and um, one thing so, but your, your actual footage will be blur because you applied a blur anyway, right? So this is blurred, and you could use this layer as the something in between the your actual key and uh, and the background. So if you apply the the background layer, you'll see that there is no no white lines, right? And then you could just uh, use your key one more time and copy copy the alpha to the to this image pre mounted Remove it and um, shrink because you already has the already have the actual edge. Yeah, so you could just shrink it a bit, put it on top of the of the blur player. I play the play the same and dispel. So if you put it on top of your layer, yeah, you will have both the the this blurred background, but th this layer will have the the details of your edges, right? But no white line, and on top of this, you will have the a little, little bit eroded um, alpha of your sharp foreground, but um, you could you could just apply a little bit of blue to the alpha because it looks a bit sharp. Just a bit, and of course you have to apply green because the, the grain gone. So you apply the grain. So I think it was the channel zero point zero two. All right. Red channels two five two five and six size size complete so that the green Oh, all right. So now, um, and now you could just uh, for this layer, you could just apply the, the blue. Uh, 
or defocus and uh, do whatever you want and just give you some more space for to work with the to work with this um, edges right yeah when well again uh, the you just uh, make clean alpha and then uh, once you get the, the alpha you could just uh, you could just shrink it a bit with uh, the road node then you either pre-mount blur and unpre-mount and once you change the blur your edges color will increase as well um, yeah that's it and this is very simple but in many cases very efficient trick and um, you of course could uh, you know the other way would be to, to fix it is sometimes it's even better you just could um, create a layer and split it on with uh, your rotos and just scale it a bit if your camera is moving you could stabilize it and scale it a bit but sometimes it just doesn't work and this makes save you this may save you in a lot of situations because um, it happens with almost every key that the brightness of the background doesn't match the brightness of the actual um, footage that you have to comp all right so that's it for about this tip thank you for watching